Hello everyone, so welcome back to another update video, and today I'm going to give this one to you and see whether you uh, you like the idea or not. So, the idea is that I'm trying to get this to look a little bit like a PS1 game. I've been going over this idea for ages about trying to emulate PS1 graphics since I, I started doing 3D work. I just have a fascination with like retro style graphics, and that's why I'd, I showed off this PlayStation shader that I'd actually found online and recreated, which gave me this really kind of pixelated look on everything, which was really cool, but I wanted to keep sort of the dynamic shadows, uh, so it wasn't totally like 100% PS1 looking, but looked just slightly better. So we've got all these, you know, like dynamic shadows, dynamic lights and everything, but it does look cool. But the thing that I'm going to go over today is the textures, because I didn't know how to create the textures uh, for it that would look similar so I tried something else with the flashlight and it looked kind of okay so I decided to then go ahead and create some other stuff like assets to test it out again and see what they would look like and here we've got like three sets of well three doors and they each have different texture sizes on the far one is as close to PS1 as you can get in terms of lower res we, we have the uh, the double doors. A single door on uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 is rendered lower, but the double doors for the elevators are, are rendered at, I think it's 64 by 40. And those ones, because of uh, they're being a little bit more square, are 64 by 64. That one is 128 by 128, and this one is uh, 256 by 256, which was the maximum amount of pixels the... PlayStation 1 could apparently render up to. This is going off, I think it was uh, DMake98, I think is the username of him. He does a lot of like DMake uh, videos on YouTube, going over games and trying to make them look like PS1 stuff. But the only way we can really see the, the details of this is by using the flashlight. So as you can see, we can see a little bit there. On the middle one, the details slowly start to fade. And then on the last one, there's hardly any. Everything looks a little bit murky. It's hard to see from there. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll cancel out. We'll go unlit on everything, and then we'll uh, we'll look at it from here. So as you can see, between the the two fifty six on the right and the one two eight in the middle, what we actually start getting is apart from the pixelation, we obviously lose a little bit of the detail, and it goes a little bit more blurry. Of which I don't really like the fact that it goes blurry. And then when we go all the way down to the end here, to the 64 by 64, it goes really murky. I don't know whether that's because Photoshop is messing around with it. I'll have to uh, see because it's definitely not keeping the sharpness on the texture. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm trying to get it out of Photoshop without messing around with it too much. I don't want Photoshop to uh, murky it like this. So when it's saving, I'm trying to save it as a TGA. And it's coming up as just a blank white TGA. So I think that might be something to do with the channels that is messing up because I've had to put these as uh, a new file first, which I'm sure leads to this murkiness before I put it in. Like, there's got to be some way of keeping the, uh, the, the level of sharpness in this one, but bringing it lower down and giving me lower resolution instead of it being all blurred like this instead of like having to use the sharpen tool as well either way what do you guys think about it i'm i'm liking how this is going this is this is more uh research until i get the final look down but hopefully i'll be able to get this this playstation look down properly in the next update if i do one for this for graphics because i'm working on sort of the alpha stuff now so i'll be building more assets in future uh, to test out things as we go and we build up the the actual playable environment i'm hoping that i will get this done so that i can then move on to just focusing on gameplay and testing and uh, building the environment anyway what do you guys think leave a comment below and i'll see you next time bye